we always say we have this unconditional love. But that's not really true. If somebody doesn't take care of you and isn't kind to you, you stop loving them. Don't let that happen to you. You're going to fall in love over and over again. That is your journey. train station going to class make sure that you fit the right person make sure your picker is working well I know you'll make the right choices love you talk to you later bye I was gonna get coffee from Duncan but look at this line so I'm gonna walk my ass to class because I only have like 10 minutes laps around the track and that was basically it i don't know what it is but i am lacking serious motivation to go to the gym usually i'm like really on it maybe it's because i didn't have pre-workout today i don't know what it is but i haven't worked out since last monday like i literally haven't worked out since october anyways it's nine o'clock i'm home pretty late i try not to come home this late because um, I have to walk a little while and I don't want to walk outside too late in the day. But um, I'm back now. Thank you God for getting me back home safe. I'm about to eat dinner. If you guys watch um, my other vlogs, you guys can see that I make dinner like on Thursdays usually. And then that dinner lasts me until like Wednesday night. And then the following Thursday, I go grocery shopping and make another dinner. I'm hoping that this food lasts me. It's rice and beans. I actually just posted a tutorial on how to make it today on TikTok. So check that out and follow my TikTok. It's just rice and beans and chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for a minute 30. I need to use the bathroom. All right, I don't think you guys can see me that well, but it's it's pretty decent. I have my LED lights on in the living room, and that's the only light that I usually use like when I come back at night. I also put on like the little kitchen light above like the stove and stuff, but I don't like fluorescent lighting at all. I have this lamp too, but I don't really use it that much, so yeah. 
but I'm eating. I wanted to take this time to talk about my school life, basically. I kind of wanted to talk about DePaul specifically, like not so much so like me personally, but the school here at DePaul right now, we are winding down for the rest of the year. So we're gonna be let out latest, November 23rd. I think that's like the last day that you can stay on campus. And then we won't be back until January 2nd. So it's looking really nice for this winter slash Thanksgiving break. I really love that about DePaul. I've never gone to a school that did that and it's really nice. The only downside is though that in the summer slash spring, everybody else that goes to like a semester based school is out by like april may <clears throat> and we're still in school until june 10. but we also go back a lot later because we start going back like the first week of september this year <clears throat> classes start at september i think 7th yeah september 7th is when classes started this year so we end late but start late and then we also have like a six week winter break. So it's really nice. Um, I like it. I'm going home next week, like I said. I kind of feel like I may have booked that flight a little impulsively. Last year, I did not go home as early. So far, my sophomore year is going really well. Unpopular opinion, actually probably not really unpopular. I think it's better than freshman year of high school. Freshman year of college. Um, I think it's better than freshman year of college. Last year was just like, like the first few weeks were really fun. Like I was really new, you know, in a new state, in a new city, new region of the country, by myself, able to do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted to. Um, it led to some like bad habits, but I still had a lot of fun. I was like having like, a big friend group. Like my friend group this time last fall was huge. It was like 15 of us. And granted it's dissolved. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was really like naive and just really in like my little era. Um, that was short lived because around this time last year I started to crash and I really wanted to go home. And like, I was thinking of transferring now i do want to go home obviously like everybody's homesick at some point but i don't want to transfer at all i really like DePaul. i think what it was last year was that i had exhausted myself really fast and i just really missed home because i had gone to boarding school in another state and then i had come back after four years back home to new jersey and spent like a few months there and then went immediately to chicago so i was in like three different places and i just felt like Honestly, I had just finished high school, so it was kind of hard to close that chapter and start with college. But now that I'm a sophomore, like I've been here for a year, I already know what to expect and I just like it. I obviously don't have as many friends as I did last year this time, but I don't even care. I used to do a lot of stuff alone last year with like a big friend group, weird. And now I still do a lot of stuff alone this year, but I have a smaller friend group and I like it that way. Um, the people that I'm not friends with anymore, did not fit me and I didn't fit them so now we're not friends um I'm trying to think of other things people have asked me when coming to DePaul I have a few things to say about like DePaul and Chicago I know a lot of people want to know what it's like going to school in a big city I think that DePaul and Chicago in general are really good for students in my opinion I think that DePaul offers a traditional-ish kind of college experience, as traditional as you can get in a big city. Um, we have like a quad, we have like a comprehensive campus, and then there's also the downtown campus, which is like NYU, you know, spread out all over the place. But even then, the downtown campus is kind of all together. It's just downtown. But the Lincoln Park campus, which is the one that I primarily like attend classes at, is more of a campus it's in like a smaller part of the city lincoln park it's pretty wealthy family oriented area in chicago so it's really nice i really like going to DePaul now especially 
because um, I think Chicago is like a very versatile city. I'm able to go literally anywhere that I wanna go. Everything is in walking distance for me, um, like groceries, shopping, store, like anything is, I could walk to get any necessity that I need, like 10 minutes or less. Um, I obviously don't walk to Lincoln Park to go to class, I take the train, but I think that's pretty efficient. Um, so if you're like really into independence and you want to go to college and just like mature and start your young adulthood, I think going to DePaul and going to school in Chicago in general is really good. Um, DePaul especially like really gets the students acclimated to Chicago. We get like train cards. We can access any CTA line in the city. It's really nice, mainly because like I have an apartment and I cook my own food and everything. Like it's a lot and I commute. But I think that like just going here gave me that opportunity because I came from a boarding school where we did not have a lot of freedom. I also had a strict home life. It's not so much strict anymore, but when I was in high school, it was very strict. And then now I'm here and it's nice. So yeah, if you really want some independence, I definitely recommend coming to Chicago. A lot of people don't want to come to Chicago because they read the news and they see that like it's really dangerous and stuff like that. And I'm going to be honest, like Chicago is like one of the more dangerous cities in the country. It's literally not the most dangerous though. People use that as a talking point all the time. Obviously, there's going to be more crime because there's more people. It's the third largest city in the United States. It has like three million people. So no duh, it's going to be more violent than some random suburb in Iowa, but it's really not that bad. DePaul is in a really nice area. Um, they knew where to build their school. Um, not much goes on in Lincoln Park. The Loop, it gets a little hectic, um, I'm not gonna lie. Nothing has happened to me, thank God, but um, they could get a little rowdy, but literally any downtown in any city is gonna get rowdy. Um, Chicago's downtown is very calm, actually, compared to like, New York's downtown. It's pretty quiet. I mean, it's 9.15 right now and the most you're gonna hear are like really annoying sirens. I've also learned that in Chicago, the sirens are super loud and really obnoxious and it makes you feel like World War III is going on outside, but that isn't always, the, that's not always the case. I just learned that they're super loud. They literally get the fire department to come for everything. Like literally the fire department, it's the fire department, it's literally them. They literally are first responders and they make it a point to put the siren at the loudest level possible. Funny enough, when they come through Lincoln Park, it's not that loud. It's only the loop. I don't know why but that's just something that they do. One last thing that I wanna talk about is like DePaul's quarter system and just like academic system in general, because like I know a lot of the people that watch my videos now want to come here. Crazy thing too, I have met like six to seven people in real life at my school that have watched my YouTube and I inspired like a handful of them to come. Like that's actually crazy when you think about it because like I have like 3,000 and something subscribers. I don't even have that many subscribers and I have literally inspired like six, I, I've met like around six or seven of you guys. It's probably seven. I don't know why I keep saying six or seven. It's, it's like seven, whatever. I have met seven of y'all in real life like that's actually low-key crazy that that's even like a thing because like i'm not even sure like people with 10 times subscribers that i have are like meeting people that often at their schools like it's low-key crazy for me to have that many subscribers and to have already met like seven in real life like if you see me on campus say hi um i'm like always really flattered to know that people watch my videos especially because like me and youtube i i go on really long hiatuses and run away from all of my problems and i post like what like on average like five videos a year but i am still really happy to meet you guys so that's great um yeah anyways as i was saying 
academic system at DePaul I think I've talked about like choosing classes before in another video it was like a Thursday vlog or something like that but um yeah choosing classes is pretty simple um we take more classes a year than like the um semester based schools so like a big state school um a lot of my friends go to Rutgers which is like the state school in New Jersey and they take around five classes a semester and that roughly translates to 10 classes a year but at DePaul we take around four a quarter and we have three quarters and that translates to 12. You can take five um it might cost a little more but most people take four. That's a lot of classes to take a year and I really like that because um we just get like more out the way. It's more credits at the end of four years, but it's really not just because you're taking more classes. So like, obviously you're gonna have more credits. Like that's really all that it is. I know a lot of people, they have like 120 credits that they have to get out of the way. We have like 192, but it's basically the same. It's no extra stuff. Like people will graduate in four years most of the time. I also really like the quarter system because it's 10 weeks of classes and then one week of exams. So right now we're in the 10th week, it's the last week, or like, we're like in nine and a half. Some of my classes are in nine, some of them are nine and a half, some of them are in 10, I don't know what's going on. But it's generally speaking the last week of classes. and. It's gone by so fast. Like I literally feel like I was just vlogging yesterday, my first day of school, and now all of a sudden we're done. Like that's crazy. Our academic sessions go by really fast, and I like that because, for example, I don't have to spend like half the school year on a general education course that I really don't care about. I just spend 10 weeks and then I'm literally done. And it's amazing, I love it. That's all I really have to say though about school and stuff i hope i answered like some questions because i know people want to know like about chicago i feel like you guys get a good taste of like depaul from my vlogs like last year or this year because last year i was living in a dorm and i was in lincoln park and now you guys get like the downtown version in an apartment so i'm just gonna keep posting vlogs because i feel like they are just a great way to show you guys what's going on out here yeah so definitely subscribe and share this video for more and like and comment please comment like i get no comments and i'm like do they like it like i'm confused please comment but yeah i'm gonna finish eating my dinner and then i'm gonna make my overnight oats